Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. So for this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys my render settings that I use for YouTube and Instagram. It's mainly for YouTube, but you can use it for on any other me social media platforms there is. So let's get started. So I just want to put a disclaimer that you have to have Adobe Media Encoder installed. If you don't have this, then this tutorial is going to be useless. So be sure to have this installed. So once you have that installed legally, you can come back to After Effects. And as you can see here, my edit is pretty much finished. All I have to do is just render this out. So to render this out, firstly, you have to have your edit in the render region. This is basically the render region. If you do not have this, go at the start of your clip, press B, and then go at the end, press the end key on your keyboard. Basically what that does is whatever is inside the region, it's going to be rendered out. So once you've done with that, press Ctrl M on your keyboard. It'll basically put the project file into a render queue. And then if you see these settings, just ignore them. We don't need that. The only thing that you need to do is click on Q and AME. Once you've done that, it should move the project file into Adobe Media Encoder. So if you if you have problems, click on this, like it doesn't let you. You have to have the same version of Media Encoder, the same as After Effects. So let's say you have After Effects 2022. Your Adobe Media Encoder is also 2022. It can't be different on both uh, programs. So it has to be the same. So once you're here, go to format, make sure this is set to H264. And then for preset, click on the match source. So once this window pops out, we can finally edit the settings. So now let's start off with the most important settings, which is the resolution. So as you can see here, currently the settings are 1920 by 1080p. We have to make this 1440p, so that's 250, 60 by 1440. That'll make it 14, uh, 1440p. So the reason why we put this at 1440p is when you upload this on YouTube, it'll unlock a new encoder called VP9, and it's only unlocked if your video quality is 1440p or above. So if you upload a video that's 1080p, it'll just use a normal codec called um, AVC, if I'm not mistaken. I can show you the, the difference right now. So as you can see here, I have two of the same video, but it's they, they both have the same setting. The only thing that's different is the the resolution. So as you can see, this one is 1080p, while this one is 4040p. So as you can see, the 4040p one, it uses the VP9 codec, while the other one uses AVC. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll just play it for you guys. This is the 1080p version, which uses the AVC. As you can see, the quality is not sharp enough and it's like blocky. Well, this is the VP9. As you can see, it's a lot sharper. I don't know if you guys can see the quality difference in the video, so I'll just link this video down in the description below for you guys to see for yourselves. Once you change the resolution, you go down to frame rate. So make sure the frame rate is the same as what you're editing on. I edit on 23.976, so I put this on 23.976. So if you're editing on 60, let's say you're editing Valorant, Put this on 60 fps fill order you ignore ignore that now for render at maximum depth here it says rendering at maximum bit depth improves video quality blah 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 but it also increases the video rendering time um i recommend you to put this on but if you have a bad pc uh, you can uncheck this it'll uh, it'll uh it'll render out quicker but it won't the quality the quality won't be as good so i just have this on now for encoding settings, make sure the perform performance is on software encoding. You can use hardware. It's faster to render, but again, the quality is reduced. So I choose software, profile, uncheck that, and then set that to main. And then the level, I set this to 5.0. Since already it's already set to that, I'm just gonna check that box. So for bitrate settings, bitrate encoding, there's three options. CBR, VBR on pass, and two pass. So CBR is basically constant bitrate. So every single frame is gonna be rendered out at said bitrate. So I don't personally use this. I, I use VBR two pass. The difference between one pass is two pass is one pass. It, it basically renders the video only once while two pass, it renders it the first time. And then for the second time, it renders it again. And it basically touches up the parts where it needs more quality and just adds more quality to it. It, the quality difference, uh, you can see it, but again, since it's, it renders out two times, the render times will take a lot longer. It's not really longer, but I'm down to sacrifice a few minutes for better quality. So down here, it says target bitrate. I set this to 
same as maximum bitrate, leave it as that. And then under here it says use maximum render quality. You can check this. Um, there, There is a difference but it's not as noticeable. But again, if you check this box, your render your render times will be a lot higher. So I just leave it as that. Now for time interpolation, use frame sampling. But if you're editing Valorant and your clips are 120 FPS and higher, you can you can use frame blending. It basically makes your video smoother. If you're familiar with Twixter, you already know what uh, blending means. It basically mixes two frames and it basically makes the video smoother. So again, since you're editing anime, just use frame sampling. But for those who are lazy, I've made a special preset for you guys. Uh, you guys can just download the preset, links are all down below, and then click on import preset, and then just click on the preset you downloaded, name this whatever, I'm just gonna name it wasty 1440p and then there you go, it's all here, wow, so easy, but anyways, that's pretty much it, now you can just click on ok, and then click on the project file, and then click on this play button, it'll basically just uh, render it up for you. Alright, so future item here. So for the output file, make sure you put this on your SSD. It'll it'll render out a lot quicker. Like the difference is huge compared to if you put it on a hard drive. So I forgot I forgot to say it in the video, so here I am. So I'm saving your ass. So that's pretty much it. Moving on with the video. So that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys find it useful. If you did, drop a like, subscribe for more tutorials. Comment down below what tutorials I should do next. I'll actually try to do them and not leave for six months. Trust me. But um, yeah, follow my socials. Links are all down below. Join my Discord if you have any problems. You can just ask me anything. I'll try my best to help you, basically. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for 90k subscribers. I appreciate a lot from you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.